Right, welcome back. Let me try restarting the game. Oh, there we go. So I'm still on the first island, but I feel like I'm almost done with the island. We'll see. Alright, so I've got some missions for Mr. Salvatore. Do I have a car? Hey, I've got a taxi. So this is using the HD up like the, it's called the Okay, so it's called the definite definitive edition mod, but it's not the definitive edition of the game which you can buy on Steam, which I don't don't recommend getting because it's pretty much a downgrade. <laughs> um but then Steam has actually stopped selling the original game, which is really stupid. The same goes for Vice City and San Andreas. They're just trying to force everyone to buy the definitive edition, uh, which was made by a mobile gamer team, and it's kind of garbage, and the graphics are terrible, and it it's wait really buggy. So yeah, basically they they made an inferior product, and they've removed the originals. But I, I own the originals, so I can kill, keep playing them. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, um, I meant to say Rockstar, not Steam. I, I, I knew that. I just um, I accidentally said Steam, not Rockstar. <laughs> But, yeah. So this mod, the Definitive Edition mod, I guess they named it that before the Definitive Edition ever came out, maybe. Um, it's pretty good. Like, it kind of makes everything smoother. Uh, it makes it widescreen. So if you play this game out of the box, it's kind of, it just stretches out. It, it's full, but um, it's not proper widescreen. So that fixes that, and it it increases to 60 FPS as well, because I think out of the box, if you just try to run it from Steam, it's 30 FPS. I mean, maybe it used to be 60 FPS when it first came on the old Windows, but on newer Windows, it seems to only be 30 FPS, but this fixes it, so it's 60 FPS here. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head. Your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal spank factory. Me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see Eight Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Made man. I mean, I've seen Sopra Sopranos. Being a made man is doesn't guarantee your safety. Most old console ports use console and PS. Well, that's true, but I think I could have sworn GTA 3, when it came out on PC, it did actually have 60 FPS. I think it's actually a bug or something that's causing it not to go above 30 on, on modern Windows. Maybe I'm wrong about that, I don't know. But I could have sworn it was 60 back in the day. Because it's actually in the options, you can un you can remove the cap on FPS in the options. But even if you do that, it only gets stuck at 30. Uh, but one of the mods I, I added specifically says FPS fix. So I think it's actually fixing that, whatever that issue is. Yeah, it is probably something like that. Come on, chain link fences, you'd expect to go right through them. 
8 balls auto yard. I do get these slowdowns, but that's that's just my computer. It's I've used this laptop for like three years now. I guess the CPU has probably been running hot for too long. Yo, my man, Salvatore phoned ahead with a job like this is gonna need a lot of fire. I mean, I think people have noticed that it's happening for every game I play, including emulators. It's it's the games that use more CPU. So ironically the higher Graphics games I play don't get the slowdowns because I'm using more GPU, but these older games use more CPU than GPU, so that's why I'm getting the slowdowns. If I play something like Doom 2016 or Witcher 3 or something, I don't get any slowdowns at all. Wait, what did he tell me? I wasn't paying attention. Where am I going now? Stop. Okay, this car's bugged. Could always tear it apart and clean it, reapply thermal paste. I, I might actually have to do that. I think this laptop's past its warranty anyway. But then, next time I go to the UK, I don't know when, I probably will just buy a new laptop. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. I don't think I even bought a, bought a warranty for this laptop because I knew I'd be going to like Thailand and different countries and stuff that I, th I figured it was. Uh... If your laptop box down, what is. <laughs> well, the thing is, it still manages fine, but I get micro slowdowns every now and then. But then, outside of those slowdowns, it still runs at like a normal pace. So it might still be okay. It's just I get annoying kind of micro slowdowns. Probably because it's overheating and needs to cool down temporarily. Let me see if I can get the stream back on my phone. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and breathing irregularities. Do not take Equinox if you're operating heavy machinery, driving a car, pregnant, a child bearing age, unhappy, or have a family history of mental disorders. Equinox. So I, yesterday I tried, as a dream's Game Boy Color for the first time ever. That was interesting. Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. I mean, it's it's more similar to the PlayStation game than I actually thought it would be. Um, from what I had seen in clips, I thought the battle interface was more like Pokemon, where you get drawn into a battle and then you choose a turn and they choose a turn and they choose a turn. But that's just superficial, apparently. It's, uh, oh, no, not that one. It's, it's still doing the grid-based combat, just like in PlayStation, but when you attack someone, it just goes into that screen, which is similar to Pokemon, just, just for that one attack. Alright, I guess I could shoot from here. Is there a zoom in button? <laughs> page up, page down. Well, I'll change that to Oh, Z and X. Z and X is fine. Let's let's make X zoom in. Yeah. 
barrels. As everyone knows, if you're guarding a base, you always put explosive barrels all around your base. It's for safety. What? They just insta-killed him? What happened? Did I do something wrong? I don't understand. He he said as soon as I take the first shot, he'll... He'll um, move in. But what, was I supposed to kill them like, way faster than that? Or... And they don't let me keep the rifle. Well, that's his arm. Huh. What? Also, why was he camping by these barrels? That's not smart. <laughs> Can we at least... Oh, it's all disappeared. I don't understand what happened there. Could it just be a... A lucky shot that they got on him? Maybe have to kill from the entrance. That might make sense. I mean, they're the closest to him. It's refreshing to see blood again. Like, they stopped putting blood after San Andreas. San Andreas was the last bloody GTA. After that, they just made it way less violent. Like, you... You wouldn't see any blood when you shoot people. Um, like, what were they trying to do? Make GTA more family friendly? I mean, it's, it's not regarded as a family friendly game. Probably to make Germany and Aussieland happy. Yeah, that could be it. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. Some companies have done the whole, you know, make one German version and one non-German version, and that seems to work. It might still harm sales if they do that. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate. Alright. Um, take that car there. I think it, more, it might just be more of an image thing, like, a lot of games are starting to not show much blood and violence in in, in general, like Half-Life as well. Half-Life 2 doesn't really show blood when you sh shoot humans, it shows them, like, blood when you shoot zombies and headcrabs and stuff, but that's like green blood. Actually, no, I'm wrong, there is blood. No, there is blood. When you shoot the combines, there's blood splatters. But it's definitely less violent than Half-Life 1, where their bodies would just, like, explode and their organs would go all over the place. <laughs> this is a cool car, but it's... Like, it gets very quickly damaged. Oh, well, these guys are right at the front. I didn't even notice them. That's probably it then. I need to get those guys. Oh, 
I just want to ram them. I don't want to stand next to these oil canisters, but then it's probably unlikely a bullet would even spot, um, cause them to ignite or anything. Theory. Should I just stay here? I don't even need to get up high. What was it? X. Okay. Maybe I did need to go up high. Come on, quickly. Okay, how do I reload? How do I reload? Oh, I used up all my bullets. No, that's just taking them. Okay, I should actually stand up high and I need to kill them quickly. Alright, DJ, have a good rest. I do need to stand up high then. Again, third time's the charm. Nobody saw that. Come on. You are listening to the Fat Lady Sings on Double Clef FM. I'm Morgan Merrill. But please call me the Maestro. again. So Hop in, loser. Let's go. already. Like two crashes. How about you wait for me to kill them all and then you head in? Like what? This is a terrible plan. Yeah, but I was standing in a bad place last time. Alright, so we go... They want us to stand up there. Then we'll, we'll do what they say. I mean, that's... Uh, where's the... Yeah, we'll stand on the roof then. Alright, I mean that looks okay. So 
Go for torso shots. Don't try to bother with the head. Well, get head here and then... Yeah, he's just spinning on the spot. That was easy enough. So far. Couldn't he have set the timer a bit <laughs> better? How did he even do it with those hands? It would have been safer if he just jumped into the water, surely. The other side. Hundred and fifty thousand. Finally, they're actually paying me what I deserve. Oh yeah, they get let me keep the rest of the sniper ammo. Well, that's nice. More Salvatore missions. Oh, bollocks. Alright, let's go up to Salvatore. I, mean, I might as well do something with this sniper rifle, use it to cheese some mission or something. I, don't, I can't buy this this ammo yet from the shops. Damn it, I disconnected again. What's going on? Today is not a great day for streaming, it seems. Um, what do I do? All right, I'll, let me just give it some time to see where we get to. All right, I'll, I'll keep going, but if it cuts out, I'll just stop and try another day. It's my favorite cleaner. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's club. The inside is covered in brains. We ought to help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. So what, we have to take a car and crush it? Damn it. Alright. Um, carry on. This is Maria. The car's a trap. Meet me at the slip south of Galahan Bridge. What? 
I've been betrayed? Never. What would happen if I went to the car? I guess I would actually get killed. Because it's still there. I could still go there. Meet me. Where did she want to meet? Here. Alright, stream seems to be still confused about whether it's on or not. Oh, I'll just keep going. And then we'll save and quit. Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the Mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. Why am I a marked man? I did everything they wanted. She's an old friend, and it's so good. She's someone we could trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> We're going to another island. Ooh. Stanton Island. Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. Okay. They paid me for that? Who paid me? Like the people who gave me the job didn't pay me because I didn't <laughs> I didn't do the job, but Okay. Uh Suka's here. Alright, let's just um save. The stream is still running like garbage. News just in from the traffic desk. Repairs to the Callahan Bridge have been completed. Since the explosion, engineers have been working around the clock to get traffic flowing between Portland and Staunton Island once again. Nice. <laughs> Bully games. Oh, thanks to Before I go home, let's just grab some some gunnery. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. See what they got here. I got all your own defense. Ten thousand. Okay, we've got enough sniper ammo. Three thousand for that. Oh, armor. That's what I want. Uh, nades is always useful. Okay, Uzi is always useful. Nades, sure. Don't really need the assault rifle yet. I've got enough weaponry for now. Well, it's only 3,000. Well, that's fine. I mean, we're, probably, we're gonna die often, so hold on to our money for now. The inspiration for this next record comes from Dante's Inferno. And this loadout is more than enough to take on a small army. This powerful feud can overpower the senses, much like a 12-year-old nephew who lets you bounce him on your knee one last time. Moto Adagio. Okay. 
Alright, I just have to cut the stream for now. Hopefully that this may hopefully the connection might be more stable later on. I'll make another save in the other slot as well. Alright, see you next time.